Halfway through episode six, we're so close I can practically taste it. Let's move on to chapter three, Speeder Showdown. Episode six, Return of the Jedi. Chapter three, Speeder Showdown. The Rebel Alliance has learned of the new Death Star and launches a daring plan to destroy this evil weapon before its construction can be completed. The Rebel fleet is readied for an assault, and a small strike unit lands on the nearby forest moon of Endor. Led by Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, their mission is to destroy the shield generator which protects the deadly Imperial Space Station. And now it's time for a change of scenery. As you can see, Endor is surrounded by jungles. Hmm, I wonder if there's any intelligent life on here. Well, so far the best we've got is a scout trooper working on his speeder. Maybe we can get a closer look, but we have to be quiet, Luke. You understand? Unfortunately, despite Jedi training, Luke isn't very, shall we say, incognito. Ah, oh, great. He's probably going for reinforcements. So, we are in the middle of a forest without any food or water. But things could be worse, I guess. For starters, we'd have no studs to collect, and here we do. All right. You're going to be fight you're going to be finding a lot of destructible plants in this uh, chapter. So, make sure you go after them all as they will help you immensely in obtaining true Jedi status. Speaking of true Jedi status, getting it is no easy task. This is probably the hardest true Jedi uh, requirement to obtain, and that's because it's so easy to get killed. Why? Well, you'll find out later. For now, things are starting off pretty calm, and we gotta find a way to get Luke over here, so for starters, let's build this target pad and collect a bunch of studs while we're at it. Also, the true Jedi requirement is definitely on the higher side of the spectrum. Alright, so now that all of the plants have been uprooted, we want to jump onto this platform, thus creating a staircase for Luke to jump up. Yeah, he doesn't climb up staircases. He jumps up them because he's a boss. Use the force on this pile of blocks to create a ramp, and we have made it. Hmm. It's quiet around here. Too quiet. I've always wanted to say that. Alright, we've got another target pad here, which is good. And we have another plant that can be destroyed. And those are really the only two things we need to do here, because as soon as we move to the center, some scout troopers show up. Yes, we have a new enemy, scout troopers. Scout troopers are stormtroopers that ride on speeder bikes. But enemy-wise, they're no different from stormtroopers. Now, as soon as you have eliminated both, jump on to the speeder. And now it is time to introduce the level's main section. You have to chase down scout troopers in order to uh, get to the next area. However, along the way, you will find plants and trees littered on the ground. Also, you'll find those ramps. More about those in a second, because right now we've got some enemies to destroy. Now the plants can be shot down for some studs, and so can the trees. However, I would not recommend shooting down the trees. The reason being is that it's extremely difficult to get rid of them without damaging yourself in the process. Case in point, I'm already down to one heart. And you see, there I was able to do it with no problem. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting blown to bits. Also, you'll find mini kit pieces. Ooh, a heart! Yes! That is the way to do it, my friends. You don't have to necessarily keep up with the scout troopers as they won't pull too far ahead of you. 
and uh, they will eventually end up lapping you, and oh, that looked very painful. I lost almost all of my cash. But yeah, that's another reason why I wouldn't recommend going after the trees. All right. The satellite, the, the satellite dishes, however, they're fair game. You'll definitely want to get rid of them to prevent them from shooting at you. And I completely missed that mini kit piece. Let's try that again. Gotta aim ourselves just right. And again, I failed. All right. Third time is the charm. Can we do this? Yes! Excellent. Oh, and there's another mini kit piece down there. One I uh, forgot to collect. Yeah, if you collect the mini kit pieces, you'll definitely get a lot of studs, which is always nice. All right, we're just above 21,000. Uh, oh, another mini kit piece. Da -da -da -da. I think it's time for us to get to work on these scout troopers. Now, the scout troopers do take quite a few hits in order to bring them down. And wow, I can't believe we have half of the mini kit pieces collected already. That's pretty amazing. Ooh, power up spear! Just what the doctor ordered. I don't care how cliched that phrase is, I am using it. Another reason to uh, not run into the trees is they don't give out very many studs anyway. So they won't really help you in getting true Jedi status. Ah, very nice. All right, we have one trooper left to eliminate. So let's see if we can bring him down. Come here, buddy. You know you want to get blown up. Oh, you jerk! Yeah, after they get damaged, uh, they will try and uh, sneak up behind you. And once you've eliminated all of the scout troopers around the perimeter, you will be met with some stormtroopers. Yeah, you know the drill. Get rid of them all before they can cause too much trouble like that. Ah, so frustrating. You also want to... And if that weren't annoying enough, they also add an ATST just to be irritating. There we go. That should do it. And just like that, I have one heart yet again. All right, what are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to uh, use the ATST to head in this direction where we find a few plants. We can't actually do anything here aside from collect studs because those black bushes are crackling with Sith energy. I know, it is sad. Oh, come on, really? I thought I got rid of all of you guys. And how did I get blown up? I got killed right as the stormtrooper was falling out of the ATST. How does that work, game? How does that work? The real problem is you can't uh, you can't deflect those blaster bolts shot by the ATST. All right, I've wasted enough time. Once you have the ATST in hand. Walk over to the shield generators and start blasting away. As soon as you destroy one, one of those uh, towers will get destroyed as well. You have to destroy all four towers in order to proceed. And once again, you will have to deal with stormtroopers after you destroy one of the towers. Yeah, they throw way too many stormtroopers at you in this level. And that's the reason why it's so difficult to get true Jedi status. It's because you're constantly under attack by stormtroopers. Now, as soon as you've uh, gotten rid of all the stormtroopers in the area, the other character will jump on their speeder. That's an indication that you need to get on yours and proceed to the next phase. All right, this time we have three scout troopers that need to be defeated. And now that most of the breakable bushes have been destroyed, navigating this little gauntlet should be a little bit easier. One down, two to go. Now you'll want to avoid the stationary trees because 
chances are if you hit them, you'll die instantly. Yeah, that is not something you want to do. All right, let's get rid of you because you're annoying. Oh, don't start shooting at me, buddy. Anyone who shoots at me will be punished. All right, that is the second wave of scout troopers eliminated. Let's go ahead and, you guessed it, fight more stormtroopers. Seriously, couldn't they have added a little bit more originality in this chapter? All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these guys. The problem is they don't come in waves of two, three, or four. They come more in waves of five, seven, and nine. All right, so here on the left side, you'll want to uh, put this platform in its proper position. And another problem, they infinitely respawn. There is literally no end to them. All right, let's go ahead and have Luke jump up to the high end of the cliff. And now that the stairway has been made for Leia, we can build this target pad so we can have her grapple up and pull down on the switch. And that switch will drop the cage, releasing the remaining ATST parts. All right, this is a little bit easier now that they're uh, climbing up the stairs. We can uh, have more time to fire at them. All right, let's get Luke and... Oh, just missed that heart. Da 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 da! An ATST has been built. Hooray! And more stormtroopers attack. Let's see if we can quickly get rid of the shield generator. Yes, we can. Now, one other uh, idea you might want to try out is if the stormtrooper population gets too high, you can uh, you can hop on your speeder bike and get rid of them that way. We're going to go ahead to the right here and uh, collect a few extra studs. Nothing we can do due to those metal shiny objects. Yeah, we don't have any bounty hunters on our side. Could our luck be any worse? Because if we could destroy those metal objects, think of how quicker we could obtain the true Jedi status. All right. With all of that done... Let's get rid of you guys, because you are irritating. One of the upgrades allows you to uh, deflect a blaster bolt no matter uh, which angle it's coming from, and I really wish I had that right about now. But that's one of the power bricks that can only be uh, located upon gathering certain characters and using them in free play mode. But we still have a little bit of story mode to get through. Before, and before too long, we'll be able to do free play. All right, for now, we've got four scout troopers to deal with. Whoa, almost uh, crashed headlong into a tree there. I'm on a speeder bike, not a pair of skis. All right, let's go ahead and eliminate one. That's a good start. Now, one other tactic you might want to use is to slow down a little bit and then do the loop de loop maneuver. And wow, we both committed suicide at the exact same time. How interesting is that? All right, two more to go. We can do this. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of you guys. Usually they'll take about three hits before uh, they try to get behind you. And when they're smoking, they'll take another two before they go down. All right. That is it for the third wave of scout troopers. Oh, God. An ATST right off the bat. That's real fair. Oh, and he jumps right in after it's baked, after it's empty. In fact, all of these guys have the same strategy. And, oh, man. How many times have I gotten blown up now? It's really irritating. Yep, see, after you use the force on one, another will jump in. And the only way you can prevent that from happening is to jump in there yourself. All right, get rid of that shield generator once and for all. 
And that is number three. Okay, I think we're done here. And the only way up there is to get into the ATST. So let's go ahead and run away. Oh, come on. Ah! See, even if you're in the AST, ATST, you will uh, still lose studs when you die. Oh, come on! How was I already down at one heart again? Ugh. This is turning out to be a lot more irritating than I thought it was. And see, I've only gotten 21,000 studs. I mean, because of all the times that ATST has shot at me, I don't have a net gain of studs. That's the problem. All right. Now up here is, well, a grappling hook, but we can't do anything about it. All right, let's get rid of you guys. Now, if you uh, jump on the speeder bike and there are stormtroopers still out in the field, you can kill them for some free hearts. That is a good strategy and one you might have to utilize often if you're taking too much damage. All right, now we have five riders to take care of. Ah! And more studs to recover. Oh my God. Could I possibly suck any more? I don't think I'm even going to have 30,000 by the time I'm done with this section. And I'm already at almost 17 minutes. Which just goes to prove how long and arduous this chapter really is. Ooh, a tree was destroyed. Let's go ahead and collect some studs. Very nice. Yeah, the only way you can really get rid of those trees is to pretty much commit suicide. But as long as you can, uh... Ow! Wow! So I was wrong. The breakable trees can kill you in one hit. Yeah, you learn something new every day, don't ya? All right. Enough fooling around. Let's get down to business and take these guys out. All right, one down. And the last one should be choking right about now. There we go. There now. That wasn't so bad, was it? Let's go and switch to Leia. Because, yeah. Using a speeder bike is way more efficient. Isn't it? Alright, we are done here. So now, what we need to do is we need to walk across this bridge where we find some parts for another walker. Hmm, interesting. What could this entail? Well, I think you can answer that question pretty easily. I mean, we did do this three times already. Ow, you jerks! Leave me alone! That's right, I'm so sick of you, I've decided to start slapping you rather than blasting you in the head. All right, we have a turnstile and a wooden cage that surrounds the ATST cockpit. So when we push it and lower the wooden bars, I honestly don't see why they couldn't just set fire to it. Not the Jedi way it is. But constructing an ATST walker, that is the Jedi way. Oh! Die! 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 I didn't mean me die! I meant the stormtroopers die! So what we have to do is we have to jump in the walker and shoot that cage. Once that is done, you need to use the force with Luke to create a bridge for the walker to walk across. Blasting any stormtroopers you might encounter. Once all of that is over and done with, destroy the last shield generator. 
And that is it. We can finally, at long last, proceed to the next area. We just have this one last wave of stormtroopers to deal with. All right. Finally, we are done, and that only took 20 minutes. Unfortunately, we're not even halfway done with the level yet. We've still got a long road ahead of us. For starters, look at all of those plants. We're going to have to destroy every single one if we have any hope of getting true Jedi status. And I just want to test something before I proceed any further. And it involves those trees. I'm going to hit one with Luke. So that is it. If you hit the trees, you do indeed damage yourself. I wasn't 100% sure about that, but now I do know. However, it doesn't seem like you'll damage yourself if you use a jump attack. So I, I would definitely say that's the way to go when getting rid of these trees. Maybe uh, those trees are poisonous or something. Well, that's another discussion for another day. We have got some serious progress to make. In fact, I am not 100% sure we'll be able to uh, obtain true Jedi status, but we're definitely recouping our losses so far, so I guess uh, signs are a little bit positive. I remember uh, when I first played this level, I had so much trouble getting the true Jedi status because I kept getting blown up by those stupid trees. It was really annoying. I will say this. This area right here is where you are going to get the majority of your studs. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, build this uh, target platform in order for us to uh, get a little bit more money. Collect, collect, collect. And let's destroy all three of these. Da, 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 da. We are in the money, definitely. All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to keep destroying these plants. And I believe that trying to destroy that tree uh, with Leia will also damage her. So, uh, yeah, you'll definitely want to use Luke for that. Alright, let's go ahead and destroy the last couple of bushes here. Don't worry, we're almost done. And look how far that meter has been filled! Man, I severely underestimated the amount of studs you would find in here. Alright. After that tree's destruction, I think we are finally ready to proceed. For starters... We are going to push this door all the way into its slot. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do with this door since we don't have a small character. And that is a shame because the power brick is right up there taunting at us! Nor can we do anything about that uh, mini kit piece because it's surrounded in a shiny cage. So what we have to do is we have to pull down on these switches, enter the elevator, and go up. And now we are at the top floor. So the first thing we need to do is to prevent the Stormtrooper uh, posse from catching us, we need to get rid of all of the hooks. Without any hooks, the Stormtroopers can't grapple up to us. Now that ADAT -AT may look dangerous, but it really can't hit you. I know, something that big can't hurt something well never mind screw that theory i really gotta start learning to shut up if the uh situation calls for it all right uh a bunch of railings can be destroyed that's gonna provide you with a ton of studs and uh it's better to destroy at least two or three of them so uh you can have uh 
better time navigating and collecting all of the studs. All right. I believe that is all of the... I believe that is all of the hooks. Yes, indeed. All the grappling hooks have been destroyed, so no more stormtroopers! Woo woo! Oh man, this is gonna be very, very close. Ooh, power up! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to deactivate all four of these generators. Why do we need to deactivate the generators? Well, you will soon see. Oh, wow, that looked painful. That laser hit Leia right on the mark. Oh, jeez, really? Oh, man. Well, I don't think there's any way we're going to get uh, true Jedi status, that's for sure. And that is a shame. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto this platform here and hijack the ad -AT. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Now, the ad -AT moves pretty slowly, but you are 100% invincible when driving this thing. However, you don't really have the greatest uh, range of movement, but you need to destroy all four generators. And with that, everything has been destroyed. And we get a few pity studs. That's really the best way I can describe it. And once you pull down on both of the switches, the chapter ends. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. We better get out of here, quickly. Ah, help. Well, down we go. And that is it for the Imperial base, or at least one of them. Unfortunately, that base didn't house the shield generator. All right, level complete, free play unlocked. We have now unlocked Princess Leia Endor, Luke Skywalker Endor. How far were we? 80% on the dot. Yeah, I just got blown up way too many times. I just uh, couldn't get back my, uh, I just couldn't recover my losses. But uh, no worries, I'll go ahead and uh, get it off screen. Anyway, that is going to be it. So next time on Let's Play Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, we are going to continue our journey through Episode 6. And by extension, continue our journey through Endor. See you guys next time. Hey, did you like what you saw? Then be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on my videos. Also, do you want to record LP videos like me? Then check out my kit page for my go-to equipment for recording.